What's up guys? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, also want to thank each and every one of you for all the amazing messages you guys sent me um, when I wasn't feeling good. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so without wasting any more of your time, for today's recipe, one of you guys asked me to make some soup. Uh, what better than making our uh, traditional Indian tomato soup? So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do to make tomato soup, of course we're gonna need tomatoes. And all we're gonna do is just cut them in rough pieces. Doesn't have to be pretty, uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and cut them in big pieces like that. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do after that. All right guys, so after roughly chopping the tomatoes, what we're gonna do, here is my twist to the tomato soup. Uh, what I like doing is I like adding about uh, quarter of a beetroot uh, while I'm boiling the, um, while I'm pressure cooking the tomatoes. Um, we're just gonna roughly chop the, the beetroot as well. The reason for adding the beetroot is if you, uh, if you get the tomato soup in a restaurant, it's super, super red. And um, by adding the beetroot, what it does is it gives that, uh, that red color to it. And plus healthy wise uh, for people that are out there that's super healthy, uh, beetroot is supposed to be very good for your blood uh, so that's why we're gonna go ahead and add some more beetroot to it too as well alright guys so the another twist to my recipe once I put everything in the pressure cooker for cooking what I'm gonna do is uh, I add a little bit of black pepper some cinnamon uh, some um, some uh, cardamom also some long in there and uh, the reason why we do that the re reason why I do that it's because uh, when we pressure cook it and once we fine grind it, it's going to give us that spiciness from black pepper and cinnamon and also from the clove and that uh, rich taste by adding the cardamom to it. Alright guys, so what I've done is after uh, cooking the tomatoes and beetroot for about uh, two and a half to three whistles, I've gone ahead and grinded them um, or liquefy them and after liquefying them, I've strained them out of a fine, uh, a fine funnel. Now at this point what we're going to do it's we're gonna go ahead and add salt to taste and with salt I'm gonna go ahead and add about um, about two and a half to three spoons of sugar now when you make Indian tomato soup uh, or the tomato soup the Indian way uh, it's a little bit to the sweeter side and has a little bit of kick of the of the spices so once we add the sugar and and, um, and salt to it what we're gonna do it's we're gonna go ahead and let this cook for about another uh, we're gonna let the tomatoes cook for about another I would say five to seven minutes um, on a medium heat and once the tomatoes are cooked then we're just gonna go ahead and get our third car ready for it add some creamer to it and your soup is good to go all right guys so anytime we make any indian food it's never complete without having a third cup to it so now with our soup what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it a third cup so i'm using um, i'm using a lot of ghee in here and inside the ghee what i'm gonna do is i have some um, uh, some cumin seed i have some black pepper and i also have some um, uh, a long and uh, and club in there too and we're gonna give a third cup of, um, of that into the soup. All right guys, so once our third cup gets ready, all we're gonna do is we're gonna use the third cup and we're gonna go ahead and uh, add our third cup to our soup. All right guys, so after adding our third cup to the soup, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some cream to it. I do like to add my cream while the soup is cooking. And uh, on top of that, I do add some more cream if needed. But once, um, once you do that, pretty much your soup is going to be ready. Um, until you are ready to serve the soup, what you want to do is just go ahead and let the soup uh, simmer on a very low heat until you are ready to go ahead and serve the soup. Alright guys, so the food is ready. Let me know what you think about this recipe and also let me know what you want to see me make in the next video for you. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.